Hi guys, it's me, it's Farum. Today, I'm going to be doing some super secret Hacker Man stuff. We'll go through a few things. We've got to put on our Hacker Man outfits first. Make sure that you're very inconspicuous. Sunglasses, definitely advised. I always wear sunglasses inside. It's very important. But anyway, let's get into what you need to do. So I've got a couple of files here. First one has a root at the top. I'll put this root up in big below so you can see it. But basically, you need to go to your user and then app data, local low, fun day games, DRG survivor. And the file you're looking for is called drgs.dat. I would advise you get the program Notepad++ for this because you're going to have to edit some JSON files. A lot easier if you get this program. You can get a plugin that just sorts a few things out for you. Speaking of, let's get that set up. All right. So if you go to the plugins window, the plugins and um, plugins admin you're going to search for a json viewer you're going to get that you're going to add it you're going to install it i'm just going to put something up here called json viewer hover over it press the show json viewer i'll open this panel on the side um just right click the drgs that file to open it in notepad plus plus by the way just open it with it you're going to press this button format the json to beautify it it's going to make it all pretty like this it's going to be a long string on one row first of all what you want to do is press that so you can actually see what's going on. There's actually some pretty interesting stuff in this file. Uh, towards the end, it tells you actually how many runs you've done, and like, that's something you can't actually see in-game. Uh, but the area that we are looking for is called Unlocked Artifact IDs. And there's going to be a list of goods like this. Now, I'm not entirely sure if these are static and we'll all have the same list of goods, or... If you'd have to go and figure these out for yourselves, which ones are which. If you need to figure this out for yourself, then go into Steam and these will be unlocked. The goods will be unlocked in the order that you got the achievements. So what I did for this was I just opened up Notepad, copied out this table, stuck them all here, and then I've just put down next to each one what what artifact that was for me. If you've got the same goods, right, and these these match, then they're going to be the same. I, that, I, that, that's how that's how goods and that's how these files work. So yeah. If you then want to make a custom set of artifacts for yourself, what I would do is, I would first off, I would copy this file and I would put it somewhere. In fact, I'd just do that first before you do any of this. Copy that file and put it somewhere, back it up before you change anything at all. Just like on your desktop. And then once you're done playing around, you can just copy that file that you've copied out back into this folder. Everything will go back to normal. But if you want to make yourself a list, just literally grab the goods. Put them in a block so you can pick whichever ones you want from the list right make yourself a block of the good you want for your run grab them and then paste them in and that's it i like to then reformat it because otherwise it upsets me which you can do just by pressing the tab a couple of times for each row uh, a couple of things to check the last value in the list mustn't end with a comma if you copy it out from here it's really easy to grab one with a comma on the end Every other one above that must end with a comma. If you don't get that right, then something will go funny with the game and it won't load the artifacts properly. Um, so check that. Always make sure it's got that sort of structure. And yeah, make sure you don't accidentally put it over the unlocked class artifact IDs. Otherwise, you uh, don't unlock any of the classes. But that's it. It, it really isn't. It's, it's not that complex. It's, it's just a JSON file. When you start up the game, it reads from this and it tells you what you've got unlocked. Do make sure you back it up though. I can't stress that enough. I really, really can't because if you can't get your art, if you can't get the artifact list back, then that's kind of annoying. Especially if it's not the same GUIDs for everyone. Although on the DRGS servers there are there are backup save files if something goes wrong. But yeah, yeah, just back it up and then once you're done testing or doing whatever science you want to do, just copy it back. So not too complex. And anyway, I hope this was was helpful. I hope you enjoyed our Hacker Man time today. It is a very quick video because it's not really that complex once you've got, got, it, got it down. So, yeah, if this is of interest to you and you've enjoyed it, don't forget to hit that like button. kind of helps. And, yeah, I'll catch you in another video. If there's a set of artifacts you want me to use for a silly run, by the way, drop them in the comments. I'm always up for doing silly artifact runs. I like doing them. I like seeing the science behind the game. Anyway, have a good one, guys. Catch you later.